Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Grip and Rip Sports Cards, back here with another video for you guys today. And in this video, we'll be talking about why nobody in the community is talking about 2023 Tops Allen and Ginter. I bet most of you guys didn't even know that set came out next week. And honestly, who cares? You know, who cares? We'll talk all about it and why I genuinely think people are not talking about it in this video. But before we get into that, thank you guys so much for joining me on this video today. Can we get a minimum of 100 likes on this video? As that is the best way you can help me grow this channel is by hitting that like button. And speaking of growing the channel, we are doing a giveaway. We are giving away hobby packs of Series 2. All you got to do to enter is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications for all the content on the channel, and last but certainly not least, leave a comment in the comment section on who your all-star representatives were on your favorite team, and I'll pick the winner once we hit 7,000 subscribers. So there is that. I would really like to give away these packs sooner rather than later. Uh, the next giveaway we're going to do is something probably, I don't know, it's either going to be... It's either going to be Chrome related or it's going to be update related. I'm not entirely sure. It just depends on when we give away the packs. Uh, right now, it'll be Chrome related. Um, but if we get too far into it into October, we will do update. Update clearly. I mean, people are going to want updates. Uh, but I don't know. Chrome's definitely a great set this year. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting to uh, you know figure out what we're going to do. I know what the rules are going to be. I know what you're going to have to comment. I figured that out. Um, but... Uh, for the, for the giveaway, I don't know yet. It's either going to be either one of those sets. Not sure yet. But there's that. And channel of the month. Sports Card Ripping Teacher is the channel of the month for the month of uh, September. If you want to go win the month of October, all you got to do is, if you're a sports card YouTuber, just comment what kind of sports card videos you make, and I'll pick the winner October 1st. So go give a subscribe to Sports Card Ripping Teacher. Uh, link for his channel is in the description of every video for the month of September. So there is that. So let's get into it. <coughs> and I do want to apologize. Still have a cough. I, I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know. It's terrible. Uh, we're pushing through it. Man. We're pushing through it every day. We're getting better little by little. I uh, would like this cough to go away soon, though, because I hate it. Just It just is terrible. But it is what it is. It is what it is. So let's talk Alan again. Most of you probably didn't know, Allen and Ginter comes out this Friday, about six or five days away, depending on when I upload this, because I think this video is going to go live on Sunday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're five days away from Allen and Ginter. And there is legitimately no hype regarding this release at all. I haven't seen one comment about it. I haven't seen a singular post about it anywhere the hype for this set is dead in the water so let's do a little background on this release because this release funny enough was supposed to come out august 2nd of last month so about six weeks ago it was supposed to come out and for whatever reason which tops made the right choice here they decided to push this set back till September 22nd uh, because Chrome came out, I believe, July 26th. And then Platinum Chrome came out like August maybe 6th or 7th or something like that. So it was very, very close in, in, in distance with release windows between those two sets. And, you know, people weren't going to buy it. You know, if you asked 10 collectors... What set they would buy? Platinum Chrome, Normal Chrome, or Alan Ginter? You're lucky if you got one guy telling you they're going to get Alan Ginter out of those three sets. It was just a dead on arrival set. Tops put that in that spot to fail. Luckily, they took it out of that spot, like literally days before the release. It literally, I think, was the last day of July. I checked the release date calendar because I was going to record the Alan Ginter videos for a checklist and things like that. And then I saw it got pushed back. I was like, okay, fine. You know, that's probably what should have been been done. But here we are. It's going to be September 22nd next week. Or I should say this week, actually. What the hell am I talking about? And, you know, people are still not talking about this set. 
Um, you know, why are they not talking about this set? Because I genuinely think that no one really cares. And I've been saying this since last year. This set should absolutely go the way of the Dodo Bird. Um, I get that there's history behind it. I understand it. But you got to change it up a little bit. You know, the set, how it is currently portrayed um, with the hobby slash retail formula, it really, you know, it doesn't work. Now, why does it not work? Simple. Go to your Walmart if they have clearance bins and see what boxes are in those clearance bins. I guarantee you, all of you, if there's a clearance bin, will find 2022 Tops Allen & Ginter in that clearance bin for $17 a box. That's why. Nobody cared for it last year. Why did nobody care for it last year? Because it came out in December when there was 12 releases last December. So nobody cared for that set. And I genuinely do think that there is a decline of interest for this set. For multiple reasons. Multiple reasons. Um, the, the wacky weird cards in that set. The celebrity cards. Now I will say this. I will say this. The celebrity checklist this year looks decent. It looks decent, but compared to last year's and the year before, you know, the, the celebrity checklists of the last couple years have not been good. They put freaking animal cards in there. They put freaking horses, plants, ice creams, hot dogs, trees, you name it. It got a card, which I don't know who likes to collect those type of cards. More power to you. If you like to collect those cards, God bless you. You know, no one's stopping you, right? But no one's talking about it. Like, seriously, like, if you go online just to even type in, like, videos, like, people talking about it and things like that, you're going to find nothing. You're going to find absolutely nothing. No one's even talking about it, you know? And, and it sucks um, because we have sets that got axed, and I will talk about a Gypsy Queen that would have certainly sold well. Uh, but here we are talking about Alan and Ginter, which I definitely think, getting back to the change I think it should make, I think it should be a Topps Online exclusive. A, a Topps Online exclusive. You can only buy it through Topps.com and it ships to your house fine and dandy. I definitely think Gypsy Queen should take the place of, of Alan and Ginter. Why? They are very similar in sets. They, they are very, very similar in design. They have the same type of cardstock feeling and everything. You know, and there's two on-card autographs for Gypsy Queen Compared to Alan and Ginter, there are three hits, um, but they don't specify. Like, typically, it's like two relics, one autograph. I've seen two uh, autos, one relic sometimes. Um, but there's a there, there's a big chance uh, if you can get a celebrity relic. You know, one year, uh, fun fact, I think it was in 2019, I got a celebrity relic out of a blaster box from, like, it was like a, like a game show on Nickelodeon back in the 90s. I don't remember the guy's name, obviously. I wasn't born in the 90s. I'm a 2000s kid. Um, but I couldn't care less for the car. The car was like five bucks online. I was like, oh, fun. Great, right? So, you know, I genuinely do think it's time to axe Alan and Ginter. I do. Um, you know, Gypsy Queen, I don't know why they did this. I would take Gypsy Queen 10 out of 10 days over Alan and Ginter if I had the choice to choose between one or the other. Um, I loved Alan Aginter. Alan Aginter is, or I should not, huh, well, well, let me take that back. Let me take that back. Gypsy Queen. I love Gypsy Queen. Uh, Gypsy Queen has done me really, really good in the past. I've pulled a lot of good autos out of there back in the day. I pulled three autos in one box once. Uh, I think that was in 2021. Uh, so, you know, Alan Aginter, or I should say Gypsy Queen, getting the sets mixed up. That's how similar they are. They look almost identical to each other. Um, you know, I, I will genuinely miss Gypsy Queen. You know, Gypsy Queen should have never, ever, ever been axed. Another thing I want to talk about in this video is how many sets are coming out in October. And this is genuinely the reason why I think people are not going to care, uh, myself included. Here is my reasoning behind the reason why I will not care about this set. And to answer your question, because I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking this, am I going to pick up a hobby box of Alan and Ginter? Absolutely freaking not. No. Now, will I pick up some hobby packs at the hobby store? Probably for like four or five dollars a pack. Sure, sure. I'll preview it. Maybe I'll buy a blaster box of it down the line. But that's not the top of my priority list right now. Because guess what? 
in about two weeks' time, update comes out. Five days later, after update, we have Stadium Club, for now, that could very well change, and Pro Debut, releasing October 18th. So, if you do the math, that is $300, right there. Now, let's say I want to buy some loose hobby packs of those sets, which I will definitely do, because I always do it. That is around probably, I'm probably going to spend around $350 to $400 in one week on trading cards for various different sets between uh, Update, between um, Big League, or not Big League, Pro Debut, and um, Stadium Club. I'm actually genuinely hoping that they delay Stadium Club. I am. Uh, because they. if you guys are unaware, uh, there are four different sets coming out on October 18th. Uh, Pro Debut, uh, Stadium Club, and two hobby exclusive higher end sets that I'm not going to dabble in because I don't care to dabble in them because they're out of my price range. So um, I actually genuinely hope, like I hate when Topps delays product, um, but when you, have, when you have four sets in, in one day and five sets in one week, including update that comes out five days prior, um, that's not a good look. You know, that's not a good look. Like there's literally 12 months out of the year and you're telling me that you have to release all those sets in like a week. Like, come on now. Like, we went months without anything in the summertime. We went literally like two months time in the summertime this summer without a set. Which is ridiculous. Between um, Series 2 and Chrome, it was about a seven week time frame. Which is ridiculous. That should have never happened. They should have absolutely released a set in between that, in, in between those two sets to to give us something, you know, but then here we are talking like even with even with um uh Platinum Chrome Anniversary, they released Platinum Chrome Anniversary a week after Chrome, which is ridiculous. Like again, you got 52 weeks out of the year, you got 12 months out of the year, 365 days, and you're telling me you can't schedule your releases better than what you are doing right now? That is the problem. And that is another reason why I do not care about Alan Ginter because Alan Ginter is going to go for about $110. Now again, I'm a college student. Some of you guys can afford all that stuff. Good for you. Have at it. I'm a college student. This is my job. I'm, you know, obviously, I'm not the most financially stable. So I'm only 20, I'm turning 22 in November, right? So, you know, a typical Joe Schmo like I, like me, you know, I don't have 500 something plus dollars, including the price. I'm, I'm, I'm adding the price with, with Alan Ginter onto that, which I'm going to spend in October, we don't have all the money for that. Like, that's the thing, right? I genuinely do feel bad for collectors on a budget because you have to make choices. You're going to have to make choices. Like, let's say, you know, you have a family and you have to feed your family, pay bills. You can't buy all those sets. Like, let's say if a collector wants update, pro debut, and stadium club all in the same week, they're going to have to pick and choose. Like, you know, and I am picking and choosing not to buy Allen and Ginter. Now, sure, it's a three and a half, not not even three and a half weeks, about maybe a two and a half weeks um, b before update comes out after uh, Allen and Ginter. But still, I mean, you know, I have other boxes. You want to know something funny? You want to know something funny? I have an unopened box of Allen and Ginter from last year, still right by my side right now. So my philosophy, my thinking process was, if I haven't even opened last year's box yet, why would I why would I go buy another box that I haven't even opened yet, you know? So my philosophy is if I didn't care to open it and I still have another box of a Heritage High Number hobby box still at my disposal unopened last year from last year as well. So my thought process is why go buy another box when I haven't even opened the last box yet? So I am definitely skipping on Allen again to this year. A uh, big pass from me. Uh, you know, it's sad. I mean, this set... You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I could be talking for the minority here, um, but I genuinely don't think that this set will sell well. I think in terms of retail, this set will sell, or uh, will sit, I should say, 110%. It will be on clearance again next year. So maybe in like March or April of 2024, you will see boxes of this stuff on clearance. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. No one's going to want it, you know. Um, you know, and, and another thing, you know, is the fact that we have four different sets coming out in a matter of like five days in October, which, you know, of course I'm going to want, like, I want a box of stadium club. I want a box of update and I want a box of pro debut. So obviously I have to pick and choose. 
which I am choosing not to buy Alan Ginter. Now, again, I may be speaking for the minority. I might be. I don't know. But Alan Ginter, I, I have a really love-hate relationship with. You know, I think the celebrity cards are cool when they're done right. You know, when they're not Z-list celebrities, when they actually put good celebrities in there. Like, for example, I'm a big Post Malone guy. I went to every single concert of his so far he's ever had in Pittsburgh through his career. They made a, uh, a Alan Ginter card of him in 2019. I have it. You know, I have it. Because it's, it's so freaking cool. You know, like, that's my favorite artist and my favorite you know, performer, that's pretty cool. But when they put Z-list celebrities in there that nobody cares about, like a freaking PGA golfer that I'd never heard of in my life, like they've done plenty of them, why would I care? Why would I care? That's a small, small, small niche audience right there that you're trying to cater to. A very, 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 very small niche audience. Now, to wrap this video up, will Alan Ginter hobby sell Probably. The Breakers will buy that shit up, do breaks like no tomorrow. But Bowman Chrome right now is as hot as ever. Bowman Chrome is selling out literally everywhere you look. So have fun with that. And by the way, I almost have a practically confirmation that monster boxes of Bowman Chrome this year are not happening. Which I might make a full video about that again, because that's ridiculous. That is actually ridiculous that that is happening. I cannot believe they are leaving that money on the table. That, there is so much money to be made there with Bowman Chrome monster boxes for Walmart exclusives. And I guess some hobby stores get them depending on your hobby store. But that's ridiculous. There is so much money to be made there because not every collector like myself has $300 plus just to throw away on one box. You know, I would rather buy three hobby boxes than one hobby box of Bowman Chrome. And at the same time, buy... Monster boxes of Bowman Chrome because I obviously want to give it a try. But that's what happens when you get priced out of the market and Top said, ha 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 ha, no monster boxes for you. If you want it, you got to buy the big products. I'm not doing that. And if you're in my boat, you shouldn't either. It's ridiculous. I saw a lot of people in my comment section saying they were waiting for monster boxes for Bowman Chrome. And I, I, I am too. I, I was waiting for them too. But hey, Top wants to be petty. And, and not make them. I don't know why they're not making them. I'm still trying to figure out as the reason as to why they aren't. That's why I'm not making the video yet. Because I want to figure out the reason why. Um, but, you know, it's it's not it's not cool. It's it's not cool at all. Um, so, yeah, like Bowman Chrome right now is on a high. Hobbies and the HTA boxes are selling out like no tomorrow. You know, in a couple weeks we have update. <coughs> and then literally like three or four or five days later, we have four sets. Which, like I said a little bit ago... I genuinely hope that they delay Stadium Club because that was the original release date for Stadium Club ever. And based off of how Topps likes to do things, they will delay sets like days before. So I genuinely hope, I can't even believe I'm saying this, but you know what? I hope Stadium Club does come out in December like it did last year because four sets in one day, um, that's not a good look. That 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 is not a good look at all. Um, you know, I genuinely feel bad for people's wallets who are going to go to the hobby store and buy all four of those sets, including five. I'll throw an update in there as well. In a span of one week, a lot of money will be thrown away. And some of those sets, the two of those sets on October 18th are high-end hobby sets. So those are like three, $400 a box. <coughs> so there is no cheap, uh, cheap option there when it comes to those ones. Um, but I genuinely do hope that they delay... Uh, stadium club for the sake of my wallet um because that's a lot of money that's a lot of money in october i'm gonna be sending on baseball cards november um as far as i know as the pack falls as, as far as i know um there is no releases in november yet I, I there is no release date schedule for november so i couldn't tell you um but i think we should be getting bowman draft in in november i would like to assume that's what we're getting in november uh, at least one of the sets. And then December, I, I legitly have no clue. Um, we still have no uh, confirmation on, on Heritage High Number. I know that set came out in December last year. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on uh, there. Um, but let's see. That's a first cool card. Jack Grubbs, that's cool, man. I love that card, man. That, cool, that card's cool. So we got... Wow, look at that, man. Look at that. It's Roberto Clemente and Jack Grubbs in the same pack. Now, how freaking cool is that? How cool is that, man? You can't get much better than that. 
Retire 21, by the way. Retire 21. Of course, the Pirates and MLB just had Roberto Clemente Day just a couple days ago. Love that card, man. Love that card. Nah, not that card. Nah, I'm not a Cardinals fan. <laughs> Speaking of which, Roberto Clemente, I guess the only way you can get him in Bowman Draft is it's super short print. So, yeah, the cards are like literally like um, Marcus Stroman. Now, that, why does this look like a short print? It does. I don't know. It looks very Photoshopped or it's a short print. I don't know. But the last card we got is... Is that Jaron Duran? I don't even... Is that Jaron Duran? It looks like Jaron Duran. I don't know. Is it? Yes, it is Jaron Duran. Okay. Pretty cool next wave insert there. Um, wish they'd had the name on the front. But, hey, luckily, I know my baseball stuff, and I can tell that guy's face uh, from the rest. But I really love that Clemente card, man. For my sake, the Clemente... This is probably the best pack in the box. Um, not value-wise, because we did pull uh, this Kirby Puckett out of 25, um, which I think goes for, like, 30 bucks. Uh, so that's probably the best card we've pulled in the box. Um, but for my money's worth, two great Hall of Famers, two greats of all time when the MLB, Jackie Robinson and Roberto Clemente in the same pack. You can't go wrong with that. You can't go, you cannot go wrong with that. So I'm going to end this video at 21 minutes. The perfect way to end this video, pulling a Roberto Clemente card and ending this video at 21 minutes. So guys, let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video.